Hello and welcome back to Music Mitra. My name is Bindu Nair. And in this channel, we make Carnatic music learning easy for one and all. So, today's topic is Kalpana Swarams. Many of you have been writing in to me asking for videos on Kalpana Swarams and Manodharma especially. My approach to Manodharma is for a beginner. I'm not here to get into complicated details of my Manodharma Sangeetam. But here in this channel, we are talking to beginners of Carnatic music, students who are struggling with their, with their approach to Man Manodharma itself. So what I am trying to give you is a very basic, simple approach to start Manodharma. Many students shy away from even attempting Kalpana Swarams or Alapana because they fear this aspect of Carnatic music. So here in Music Mitra, it's my humble attempt to break it down into simple ways of trying Kalpana Swarams, Manodharmam on your own so that with the help of your teacher, you can take it even in, into complicated patterns later. So this is how as a beginner you would approach. Kalpana Swaram. So today we are again taking up Ragam Mohanam. We have done Hamsadwani, Maya Malava Gaula etc. before and I think we had done a basic one on Mohana patterns also. So if you have not watched those videos, please go back and watch those videos. I will share the link in the description below. So today we are going to take up this beautiful Ragam Mohanam and we are going to explore Kalpana Swarams in a very very simple basic way. So, the Kriti that I am taking is Rama Ninnu Nammina by Saint Tyagaraja. Rama Ninnu Nammina. This is our Kriti. So, this is the Adi Talam Kriti. So, the Rama Ninnu is on the Lagu. Gare Sada Sariga comes like that. So, Rama Ninnu Nammina. So, it is Ga starting. So, what we have to do, as we discussed in earlier videos in Kalpana Swaram, if the Edupa is on a particular note, we will land at a previous note. So, here we will land at Re. In Hamsadwani also, we had done the same thing. In Vatapi, Ga was the starting, so we ended in Re. Similarly, here also, Ga is our Grahaswara or the starting note. So we will end on Re. Now we will start with 5 Swara patterns. As I discussed earlier because 4 Swaras are too basic to uh, what we would say like a elementary level. So we will go into 5 Swara patterns. So 5 Swara means we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the second half of the Talam for us to fill in for Kalpana Swaram. So we have to leave 3. 1, 2, 3 and then you will get 5. 8 minus 3 is 5, right? So that is why I am leaving 3 so that I can end with 5 Swaras. Now what we will do is we will take each Swaram Sa, Ri, Ga, Pa, Dha, Sa. All the notes we will try starting with and ending with Ri. And we will use only 5 Swara. So that is our first exercise. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper so that you can also jot down these exercises and practice on your own. I am also going to give you homework because once I give you one or two patterns then you will have to make your own patterns. That way you will learn faster. So let's try the first set of 5 Swara patterns. Rama Ninnu Nammina Sari Gare Rama Ninnu Nammina So I did Sari Gare Sa Kama Ri Gare So it's five. Now one more we will try and Sa. One, two, three. Sari Gare Now similar pattern. I just changed the Karve to Ga. 
वन टू थ्री सरी करी राम निन्नू नम्मी सो वी डे टू लेट्स ट्राई वन मो वन टू थ्री सरी सरी वाम निन्नू नम्मी सो वॉट अवर थ्री I made now is with sa. Now I leave it to you to pause this video and try to make at least two patterns with sa. You can use gentai swaras, you can use carways, you can use dattu swaras, but you should land on dri. So please do it right now with your you have your pen and paper. Try now. Okay. Now we will go to the next swara. Next swara is ri, right? same place we will start we leave 1 2 3 <speaking> in <foreign> ga pa ga re ra ma ninnu nammi na what did i do ri ga pa ga re ra ma ninnu nammi na one more while do ri sa ri ga re ra ma ninnu nammi na ri sa ri ga re So I made two patterns with re. Now your turn. You make two patterns with re, ending in re. Okay. Now we will go to the next note, which is ga. One, two, three. Ga pa ga re ra ma ni nu nam mi na. Ga pa ga re is our first one. Now let's try one more. One, two, three. Gari sari. That's another way of doing. One, two, three. Gari sari. Oh, ga gari sari. So many options. Now you pause and you start doing at least two patterns, starting with ga. Now we go to the next note, which is pa. Pagari sare Rama ninnu nammi na Pagari sare I did now what else what else can we do pa one two three paga pagari Rama ninnu nammi na so I gave you two patterns now with pa. Now you pause and you do your two patterns. And if you can, please, um, you can even write in the comments below all these patterns that you could come up with, so that it will be interesting for me also to, you know, uh, read all those and see what all, because each one's mano dharma is different, right? What can come to my mind? Uh, will not come in your mind, and what comes in your mind might not come in my mind. That is why it is so unique, right? Mano dharma, and it's infinite possibilities. Really, though we have only five swaras, we have infinite possibility of coming up with various combinations of swaras. Okay, now pa is over. Now let us go to next note, dha. Da pa ga re ra ma ni nu nam mi na da pa pa ga re ra ma ni nu nam mi na da ga pa ga re another way of doing so I have given two plus one three I gave you one bonus also this time with da da ga pa da ga pa ga re Ram Ninu Nami Na. Now we have to do with Sa. One, two, three. Sa Da Pa Ga Re Ram Ninu Nami Na. What did I do? One, two, three. Sa Da Pa Ga Re Ram Ninu Nami Na. Sa. Pa ga re. That way also we can do one. Sa pa ga re. Rama ninu nami na. So we have done so many patterns, right? A minimum two we have done on sa re ga pa da sa. That means six into two. We have already got twelve swara patterns, which we ended with three. 
Don't you think it is easy when you break it down like this? Now let us try seven swara patterns. Why seven? Because we have eight in our second half, purvanga of the sorry uttaranga of the talam. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we will leave one so that ta, we can start at the leaving one count and then we will do. So same way we will do, we will start from Sa, Ri, Ga, Pa, Dha, Sa. So let's start a seven Swara pattern with Sa. Sa, Ri, Ga, Pa, Ga, Ri, Rama, Ninnu, Nammi, Na. Sa, Ri, Ga, what did I do? Ta. Sa, Ri, Ga, Pa, Ga, Ri. That's what we did first. Now second one. Sari ri ga pa ga ri rama ninnu nammi na So we started here Sari ri ga pa ga ri rama ninnu nammi There we left it Nammi Sari ri ga pa ga ri rama ninnu nammi Sari ga Ri Rama Ninnu Nammi Sa Ri Ga Ri Rama Ninnu Nammi Now it's your turn. I gave you two variations with Sa. Now you have to try two variations with Sa. You can do gente Sa Sa Ri Ri Ga Ga Ri Your choice. Use carways. Use gentes. You can do that too. Sagari, Pagari, those kind of patterns also you can do. Now we go to the next note, Ri. Ri, Ga, Ga, Pa, Ga, Ri, Rama, Ninnu, Nammi, Na. So we cannot ignore long here. One, two, so. Rama, Ninnu, Nammi, Na. Ri, Ga, Ga, Pa, Pagari Rama Ninnu Nammi Ri Sari Gari Sari Rama Ninnu Nammi Na Ri Sari Gari Sari Rama Ninnu Nammi Now pause and make your own seven swara patterns with Ri. Now we will be, we will go to the next note gap. Ga pa da pa ga re rama ninnu nammi na ta ga pa da pa ga re rama ninnu nammi ga da pa pa ga re rama ninnu nammi ga da pa Pagare Rama Ninnu Nammi I have given you two patterns. Now your turn. You have to do your own two patterns with Ga. Write it down. So when we have, when I gave you the maths earlier also, when we are doing uh, seven patterns, if you are finding it difficult to get a seven straight away in your mind, break it down. Three plus four, four plus three. So if it's a 3 plus 4, Sari Ga is 3. Then take a 4 pattern. What will be a 4 pattern? Pagari, Pagari. Sari Ga, Pagari is 7. Right? Sari Ga, Pa, Pagari. Sari Ga, Pagari. So I split the 7 into 3 and 4. Okay? So if you are finding it difficult to straight away imagine 7 swaras, break it up. You can always imagine 3 swaras, right? Ri ga pa pa ga ri ri That is pa ga ri sa ri That is 5. So ri ga pa ga ri sa ri is 7. Ri ga pa is 3. Ga ri sa ri is 4, right? So that way when we do, it's easier for the brain to calculate. Okay. Now, Ri is over. Now we are going to ga. Ga pa da pa ga ri. We did now. Ga ri sa ri ga ri. All these are seven combinations. Now we will go to 
your turn make your own two patterns with ga then we will go to pa pa ga ga ri sa ri ra ma ni nu nam me na so that what did i do pa ga ga ri sa ri ra ma ni nu nam me na pa da pa pa ga ga ri ra ma ni nu nam me pa da pa pa ga ga ri ra ma ni nu nam me na that was my version now your version with pa da pa ga pa ga ri ra ma ni nu nam me da pa ga pa ga ri that was first one da pa ga pa ga ri now we will do another one da sa da pa ga ri da sa da pa ga ri ra ma ni nu nam me last one we will go to sa sa da pa pa ga ri ra ma ni nu nam me sa da pa pa ga ri ra ma ni nu nam me sa da da pa ga ri ra ma ni nu nam me so i have given you two patterns with the upper sa tarasai shadja so now you calculate how many have we done now seven patterns similarly we have done 6 into 2 we have done 12 patterns in seven swaras also now how do we now when we go to multiple avartams you can easily combine this five swaras seven swaras and make 5 plus 7 12 right so this is how we work on our manodharma singing slowly but steadily take baby steps so i hope this exercise what we did today will help you take your first step towards kalpana swaram singing and please let me know in the comments below whether it was useful for you and i'll be more than happy to help you with further elaboration of these patterns in my next video i will come up with multiple avartams of kalpana swaram singing in mohana ragam until then stay connected write to us at sanskriti academy music at gmail.com you can even comment below we have lot of um, questions coming in so i am trying my best to incorporate all those into the videos so that is why a feedback from you would be highly helpful for me to and it will definitely motivate me to do more videos that can be of use to music students and don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and share this video with fellow music students and rasikas alike i will see you soon with another video until then bye from music mitra